Well, gee. Here I am. It's I've been working on this John Deere 290 planner. It's been several years since I had it out, and I don't think I really had it figured out the first time I had it out. But I finally, I think, got it mostly figured out. And I haven't been able to... The book is very vague on doing some things. And so I thought I'd give a little bit of a video to help show a few things that you may not be able to figure out either. It took me a while to figure out. First thing is how to turn the planner on and off. The book is pretty vague. This is right here. Let me back up so you can see where I'm at. It's about in the middle of the planter there. There's a, at least mine had this, this key, this uh, pin. And you'll see that there's two holes there. This one, if you put it in there, it's on. And this one, if you put it in there, it's off. So off and on. Um, this shaft moves back and forth just a little bit. And this, putting this over here and putting it in the first hole there. I don't know if you can see it because of the shadow. Putting in the first hole, turns it on. Putting it in the hole that's on this side, the outside of the planter, turns it off. This shaft moves just ever so much. And there's a, a knuckle over here that goes on and off. And so that's how you turn it on and off. Now, it mentions in the book that there's a, a setting for two, three, and four. I could not figure that out. Well, on my planner, it's right here. The reason I couldn't figure it out was because my planner was all dirty. This is number two right here. It's on number three, and this is number four. So by changing this to two, three, or four, you change how many drops, how, how fast it drops. Now I have it set in the drill position. And if I remember right, this thing has to be up for it to be in the drill position. It has to be locked up like that. And it'll drill. In the book it tells you how many drops you get at different speeds for different plates and stuff like that. So that's where that is. I had a little problem with it um, when I get to the end and I pull on this rope, that's what it's, it's, this is one that doesn't have a, a cylinder on it. This one has this, um, device that raises and lowers the planter right here. Um, you have to hold it, you have to be moving, and then you hold it for about maybe two seconds and then let go of the rope and then it, it, uh, does it. It helps to get that mechanism all cleaned up and lubricated um there's a lot of places to lubricate on this and oil so get your book out and read that lots of grease cirques all over stuff like that um your box comes off now, i don't have my chain on for my uh drags yet i i have got it put on but this unscrews and this opens up and these will actually, these will actually come out of there and come off. These. This is how you get it to the planter plate. Right there, you pull that back and then that falls down and then your planter plate's inside there. These spots right here, that's where the seed goes down to the ground. When it's in the raised up position, that's closed. It won't be open until you let the planter down. And then it opens up. And there's a rod right here that you can adjust. You can adjust that. There's one on each, there's one on each row that's like that. So that took a little figuring out. Um, 
Let's see here, put this back up. When you get that, you want to make sure you get it exactly in the right position so you can tighten it back down. Of course, these come off and... I planted some sweet corn like this. And uh, that's, you have to find the right plates. Uh, I'll try to put in the comment or the description here what plates I'm using. Uh, some sweet corn, if you buy enough of it or from a certain dealer, they'll tell you what plates to use with that sweet corn. Well, the stuff I bought didn't tell you that. I guess you could just put it in there until you find the right plate that fits so that they fall in there. Um, and now, mine's not set on check because it's set on drill. That's for the check wire right there in the old days so they could cross cultivate so i guess that's about it um you can set your planner so when you want to transport it you're supposed to lift up on this and then put this chain right in here that's kind of that's the transport position you lift the wheel up and then you put that in the transport position. You have to do that for both rows. So, okay. I hope that helps you to run your John Deere 290 planner.